Dana White's Contender Series. We've seen this change the lives of so many fighters. This has launched their careers into the UFC. The best unsigned talent in the world. The best of the best. Perhaps future champions on display. You have the opportunity to show us what you got. Everybody is here to win. Make a statement and earn that UFC contract. This is your moment to shine. Here you go, yeah. Just hold it up in front of your face for us. What do you want to say? UFC, Jack Della, take one. You say, Mark it. <laughs> take one. Action. Action. <laughs> Sarah, what is that for? Good <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else does it, eh? <laughs> My name's Jack Della Maddalena. I fight in the welterweight division and I'm from Perth, Western Australia. It's an honour to be out here representing our country and yeah, hopefully I can do our country proud and get that contract. This is the pad. I'm excited to fight, but I know there's still a couple of hours, so just passing the time and just staying focused and relaxed. Uh, <laughs> circus freak, hey. We've got Ben Vickers, the head coach. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just cut that bit out. Cut. And then his brother, Pat. So just the three of us. I had two amateur fights. I was 2-0 and in those, and then I've had 11 professional fights, nine wins, two losses. It's real cool to have your destiny in your hands. <laughs> and yeah, started off two losses, which is pretty upsetting. It hurt a lot, but after my second loss, me and the head coach, Ben Vickers, sort of made a deal, like a pact, set a goal that we were going to get to 10 wins. Just be relaxed and enjoy it. And then just stuck at it and got nine wins. All finishes and looking to get that 10th win tonight. Oh, that's a wrap. I'm a bit nervous. So to have the friends and family that I have, they're super supportive. They know what work goes into it. Nice love. We'll see you on the other side. And I just focus entirely at the task at hand. There he is, Jack. Obviously, it's quite a big, intense moment to go out there and fight someone in front of cameras and people, but I'm ready to make the walk. I get the countdown to walk out. Five, four, three, two, one, and walk it. When I swing open those doors, it's pretty much just dead quiet. Jack Della Maddalena, nine and two coming into this one. Lost his first two, but then obviously on a nine fight win streak, and he said, I want to win 10 in a row. Could you imagine if that 10th win came in the contender? Show the world. Now there's no turning back, it's pretty much game time, and I understand that it's important to stay extremely calm. I know basically what I can do when I'm calm is compete at the best of my abilities. We start fighting and I'm just trying to get his timing down. I'm expecting him to come out quite aggressively. He's not too aggressive, he sort of stays put. Angelusa, he used to be crazy and come out with all sorts of stuff, but he's gotten a little bit more patient. So I know it's time to get him on the forward foot and start picking the shots. Very tight, accurate combinations from Della Maddalena. The only thing I'm thinking is trying to damage my opponent and finish him. Oh, that was a massive shot. Wobbled in there. Early in the fight, we have a little grappling exchange. This what is a great scramble. scramble. He's got to turn into oh, him. Oh, Jack Delamay. Oh, my goodness. Nice work, Jack. I'm able to get back to my feet, and then I feel like I understand his timing, and I'm just countering his shots, trying to stay on the outside and just tee off on him. The counters of Jack Della Maddalena are so vicious. He does such a good job of pulling Angelusa in. I'm outlanding him in the first round, so go back to the corner after the first round, and I was pretty happy with where we were at. Yeah, real good. Real good. Let's push now, Jack. 
At the start of the second round, I feel like I've got his timing down pretty nicely and I land a decent combination. And from that point on, I'm putting him on the back for landing good shots. See, look at that though, it's so oh. crisp. Hurt him with that left. Oh, he's, now he's put... off. Throw a knee a bit too aggressively and I fall on my back. Whoa. Bit of a slip there. This is an opportunity for Lusa though. I mean, he couldn't get the fight there on his own, but he's here there now and needs to get to work. Ended up in a bad situation on the ground and he gets me into a uh, arm triangle position. Well, Los is passed and he's got a head and arm locked in here. He's got an arm triangle. Jack needs to be very careful here what his next move is. I'm staying calm. I can feel that he is squeezing quite hard. Not onto your right hip. But then he lets up that little bit and I make the move and get out of it nice and quickly and get straight back to my feet. Oh. That is not easy to do. It is not. But it's good for him because I feel like he just showed Dana White that he's a complete package. I get straight back into beating him up, land a nice clean elbow and it split him open. Oh, the elbow! Big right elbow coming in from Della Madalena. And again. From that point on, there's blood involved in the fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. Move, pick, 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 power. And just pick the shots, yeah? Third round, I start off again. I feel like I'm outlanding him on the feet. Yeah, Jack is showing that he's a guy who can put right into the welterweight division in the UFC, and he's going to do very well. I can see all his shots coming at this point. I've got his timing down. Right now, Jack is just teeing off at will. And eventually, he shoots the takedown, gets on top. Probably I have about a minute and a half to go on the fight. He's on top, he's covered in blood at that point. I can taste his blood in my mouth. But I definitely don't want to end the fight with the last minute of him being on top of me. So when I see the opportunity, I get back to my feet. I just unload with him. I'm trying to get the finish. That was beautiful by Jack to roll through, get back to his feet. And this nice. is exactly what he wants to finish this fight there with. We go. Oh my goodness. Now he's landing two wow. big shots. Nice. Play needs to finish. When Dane is on his feet, good things are coming. All three judges see the bout. 30-27. As soon as I heard 30-27, I knew for sure that I'd won, without a doubt. Jack Della Maddalena. At no point during the lead up to the fight did I ever think that I would lose or I wouldn't get the contract. So it was just basically what I had envisioned and what I knew was coming. I could not be more impressed with Jack Della Maddalena tonight. Yeah, I can't imagine that he doesn't get a contract given Dana's reaction to that performance. Bang! No matter where the fight went, this kid was really good. I expect big things from this kid. Get over here, Jack. Jack Della Maddalena, get over here! Got the contract. Dana's given me the approval. It's happy days, job complete. I live with my fiance in Leeming, pretty close to the gym. Hopefully you get walkout music this time. We're getting married in March, March 26th. That always gets me excited when you walk out to hear song. When me and Michelle started our relationship, I was fully delved into the fighting world, so she accepted it from the get-go. She knew it was something that I'd love, and she enjoys fighting. She understands that there's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes, and as a partner, she's just happy to see me succeed in my chosen path. But yeah, just moving around. Super calm and collected, and your head movement looks so good. Jack is gliding in and out of range, nice head movement. Jack is one of the most disciplined, determined, focused people I've ever, ever come across. Even when we just watch the fights on the weekend, I know that he's studying like it all the time. At this point, I sort of realised that, like, he's from a good wrestling gym, but I could hang with him in the wrestling, so I was pretty comfortable. I'm super excited for the journey ahead, like, for everyone to kind of see him for who he is and his true skills, as well as his, like, amazing personality. He's just, like, a super cool, humble person. So I think it would be great for everyone to just see a little bit more of who Jack actually is and what he's got to bring in. Everyone was just, like, on the edge of their seats in excitement, really. That was a fantastic fight. Coming back to Perth, coming back home with the UFC contract was obviously something that I'd 
gone away to grab and to be able to bring it home was definitely a sense of accomplishment. I'm excited to now be a part of the UFC, be a part of the number one promotion for fighting in the world, and I feel like it's where I belong and I look forward to the year ahead. Being a UFC fighter just means that I'm able to go out there and stand my case for being one of the best welterweights in the world. A couple of days into our quarantine, um, basically get a name thrown at us, which is Wally Alves. Obviously, just coming off a fight, so we're super happy to get a name thrown at us this quick. He's been in the UFC for as long as I've been a professional for, so he's, uh, you'd say, a veteran. He's fought some of the best fighters in the world, so it's a, uh, yeah, easy yes from us. Well, we've got a, such a deep team of good fighters now at Scrappy MMA. All right, guys. If anyone gets a second's rest, I'm going to start the timer again for that person. I think really just comes down to our, um, yeah, the teamwork that we have. We have a real strong bond. Stand by. Go. So make sure you're on point. You've got to be there walking him. Go, go, go. Nobody's trying to outdo anyone in the gym. We're all just trying to lift each other up, and it seems just to be something that's just multiplying. Uh, if someone gets better, the next person gets better, and we just build each other up. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse the position. I'm the first one in Scrappy to get to the UFC, but I'm definitely not the last. I think I'm just sort of opening up the gates for everyone and we will have a solid group of fighters in the UFC by the year's end. And this is where Jack's been since day dot. Jack's the hardest worker in the room always, uh, and not even in the room, out the room, you know, at home with his nutrition and his rehab. and. In quarantine, I found out a lot about Jack that I didn't know. You know, he's very diligent in, in all his preparation. He's now going to get to perform on the highest level. Keep going. Come on, Jack, let's go. Keep putting it on him. Let's go. This is his job now full time, and he's now mixing it with the best. So we're going to up the intensity and, and push forward and work even harder to achieve the next goal. Push, let's go. If you want to be a champion, five five-minute rounds of this. Jack will grasp this opportunity with both hands, and I expect to see him at the top of the pile before very long. Great work. Jack will be the UFC champion one day. Beautiful. Good job. Yeah, so we're heading to my mum's house. The garage has like a nice area that it's like matted. We've got some area that we train. So me and my brother used to put, just put a lot of work in there, training daily in the garage, basically. So we call to go there. I still go there quite regularly and get honest hard work in, so we'll go do that now. Surprise. Oh, hi, Jeff. <laughs> So proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be a really huge year for Jack because not only has he got his contract, he's getting married in March, so wedding preps are, um, you know, full steam ahead. And Jack's always, as a little boy, he's been very determined. So if Jack puts his mind to something, then you know that he's going to do it. And it's been with everything that he's done in his life. He's very stubborn as a little one. He trains all the time, like hours a day. When he was living here, he'd be, I'd hear the gym five o'clock in the morning and then he'd be there in the afternoon and then he'd be there at night. So yeah, he works really hard. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Good, how are you going? Good, thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's all right, eh? Feel good? Yeah, real good. How are you feeling? Yeah, real good. Yes. My hero is definitely, it's gonna be a bit cliche, but it's definitely my brother. What do you wanna do? We just have move around, do some pads. Yeah, sick. From a young age, me and my brother, we used to watch a lot of uh, like professional wrestling. 
So we'd always, from a very young age, we would always spend most hours of the day just wrestling each other. And then we got into rugby, started playing rugby, tried to get better at rugby every day. And then at some stage along the way, we started just really getting into fighting and we'd always practice with each other how we would win fights. And after that, we saw videos of the sport of mixed martial arts. And when I saw that, I realized that that's definitely something that I want to do. Jump, jump straight. Nice, that again. Relationship with my brother is pretty much, yeah, so we're best friends and but also being brothers of two years separation, we're pretty competitive with each other. So I've always just wanted to outdo him, but obviously it's not easy to outdo an older brother and he never wanted to let me catch up on him when it came to like anything competitive. So it was always a healthy competitive relationship and we just trained with each other daily. One, two. Let's go. Jab and shoot. Jack was always the one that was just like, I could feel him biting my ass. <laughs> I could feel he was just there. So I was, I was kind of, you know, you just try and push in front of him and try and show that you're the older one and all that natural, that sibling stuff. And I think Jack just really used that to his advantage in a way, like that pressure makes diamonds. And I've been on top of him for 27 years, so. Yeah, interesting. Again, put a hook on that. Hey, hey, you can do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> the 10 year scrappy MMA party is a black tie event. So all the fighters are dressed up and we hope to have a, yeah, good solid party. Yeah, boy. That's How are you? Yeah. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing? Looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it'll be sweet. Eh? I can't wait. Yeah, me too. You, be sick. you should have seen me in my kitchen. You were there. I'm so excited, man. I've been at Scrappy for about eight years. So it wasn't the OG, but it's a cool team. And what we have now is a solid group of fighters and a even better group of people that just enjoy martial arts. They don't actually compete, but it's definitely a team and definitely a family. Evening all, welcome to Scrappy MMA Christmas Bash, awards night and 10 year anniversary. Now, before I say my bit, we're gonna let um, this person's new boss weigh in with a couple of words. They didn't just show us a little bit of everything, they showed us a lot of everything. Yeah. No matter where the fight went, this kid was really good. He's got unbelievable head movement. Some of the transitions that happened on the ground were unbelievable. He can hit, he's got a great chin, uh, he's got unbelievable stamina. He's only 25 years old. Um, Jack started his training journey with us, day one. He's a day oneer. Now, obviously, his skills are, are undeniable, and you all see that day in, day out. But what you don't see is the work that goes in behind the scenes with Jack. He leaves no stone unturned in his professionalism, his, his dedication, his diligence in his diet, his recovery, his cardio, all the bits and pieces, all the one percenters that make you and give you the potential to be the best in the world, Jack doesn't. And despite all his success, Jack remains humble, positive, and a great role model to have around the gym. He really is a good credit to us and what we've created, and um, we're very proud of him. So Jack, come up yeah. here and accept your award. Yeah. Speech? Speech, surely. <laughs> it's practice. Thank you all so much. I love you all. Cheers. Yeah, yeah there's Jack. <laughs> all right. But let's all raise our glasses. Here's to another 10 years. 
Thank you all. Let's have a great night. Let's get f***ed up. Jack's mentality never really changes from fight to fight, training camp to training camp. It's just focused on the goal at hand and, you know, he loves what he does. He's excited to make a stamp and put his name into the UFC archives once and for all. Good timing, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Funnily enough, I just printed off the contract. Yeah. My next fight is always the most important fight of my life, so it was just a matter of getting a um, time and place and there was two nights that the fight was going to be. It was either going to be with the full crowd or it was going to be without the crowd. And I was definitely hoping that it would be with the crowd. And lucky enough, that agreement came through. LA, UFC 270, full crowd. So easy work. Sign your life away. Where do I go? Your signature goes there. So I'll spend the next couple of weeks training as usual. Perth, scrappy MMA, and there's no point now in changing anything that I guess what we're doing got us to the dance, and now it's just a matter of keeping doing what we're doing, keep on keeping on. The marathon round. <laughs> having the UFC contract, I just see now having multiple years of competing to go. I truly believe I can get to the top of the World Weight Division, I think. Within two years, I'll have that belt, and this is definitely just the beginning. This is not the top of the mountain, this is just the start of a journey, so we're just getting warmed up. It can't come soon enough. For sure. <laughs>